These Sonic Mania reviews, man. 4.8 IGN. Too much, too much water, too much Sonic. Sonic Mania tries to be the classic throwback, but that falls short because it's fucking Sonic. <laughs> Uh, that's a pretty good one, actually. I'll give the, <laughs> look at these niggas IGN that bitch. <laughs> so here's the real score. Sonic Mania was great. Classic throwback. Everybody's been waiting for it. Wasn't really super excited about this one. Considering the reviews, I've also seen some of the gameplay of the first levels, and they really mix it up this time around. I think I'm going to give my nigga Christian Whitehead a little bit of a try on this one. You might have noticed I don't have my track on me right now. But then again, you might have also noticed I'm not even in my fucking house right now. I'm in currently an undisclosed location. I would tell you why I'm here, but that's fucking personal. Not really the greatest of reasons why, but it's all good. We make the best out of situations. Holla! Holla! Hoping to God that this game is really as good as the reviewers are saying it is. I'm going to be trying it out on stream at some point, so look forward to that. My room is kind of a fucking mess right now, so watch me try to fix this shit up sonic speed. <laughs> Tell me what the purpose of having this thing on the edge is. Like a cock warmer or something. On those cold nights, you kind of wrap this around your member. And you're good. Might need one a little bit bigger, actually. That's a dick joke if you can't tell. <laughs> Remaking a lot of the old classic good time memory stuff is a good direction for Sonic, and they're kind of doing it in a way with forces. The Switch doesn't really have a lot of heavy hitting games besides, you know, the obvious Zelda and the Marios and the Splatoon. Sonic Mania might just be a nice addition to the whole roster until we get more stuff from Capcom and such. I can't say any better than my man NBZ right here. Sonic Mania's reception could teach Nintendo a thing or two about how to deal with fan works. Zed, speak the truth! Oh my God! You could have just hired the people on board. Review Tech USA, he covered this really well in one of his recent videos, man. They brought back Sonic in a classic way better than the fucking company themselves could. Nintendo, I'm hoping to God that for future reference, you look at what Sega's doing. The reviews seem good for Sonic Mania so far, so I don't think that they did a bad thing hiring Christian Whitehead on board, man. You, you can't go wrong with this shit. I mean, if you have a fan who's showing some real promise, making a real good remake of one of your old school games or something classic and people are loving it, you don't have to cut his penis off entirely. Maybe give him a job at the office. Talent like that needs to be utilized. Now I hear some other companies hired the Metroid nigga and they're working on a game for him and they're giving him a good job and he's doing good work for them. Like, come on, man. You're cutting off your, you're shooting yourself in the foot, Nintendo. Maybe in the next 20 years they'll learn. That's me being optimistic, by the way. And the whole team that worked on the Sonic Mania thing is solid as hell. Did you guys see that opening animation? Doing this thing classic style, man. That whole Sonic boom, Sonic TV type shit, man. Hold on a second. Hold on. That whole drought of horrible Sonic titles might just be over. I mean, it wasn't a continuous drought all the way through. Colors came through. Lost World to some people. Ah, Lost World to me. Meh. Generations was an obvious win. Sonic Boom on 3DS wasn't too bad in itself. I didn't really play Fire and Ice. Uh, I heard it was like, okay. And I think that's pretty much all of the modern games that came out, which were okay. Hello? Hello? Oh nah. Trying to sue Nintendo for infringement using the Joy-Cons. How in the fuck does this look anything similar to what your monstrosity looks like? Koi Johns, what the fuck is all this blank space down here? What goes there? Is that where you put the amiibo, my nigga? You can eat dinner off the bottom of that bitch. That's how wide that shit is. This is mostly just for the publicity, though. I'm not convinced that they think they're going to actually win this lawsuit. I think more for them is just to get their product out there, although I heard you can't even buy it right now. But that's definitely an L on their part. 100% Nintendo's going to win. They're probably going to have to pay a lawyer fee for them and Nintendo too. Better hope that this thing actually pulls in sales for the small amount of shine that it gets. Niggas going to have to pay for Bill Trennan to show up in court, bro. Bill, man, don't worry about the lawyer fees. These niggas are going to cover it all for you, man. They're trying to get Nintendo to, one, pay them for damages, and two, stop the sales of the Switch completely. Funny as it is to laugh at this and to make jokes and to roast them for this ugly-ass device that they have here, there's also an alternate reality where they actually might win and... The Switch gets killed off, not by lack of third-party support and Nintendo making smart decisions, but because of a fucking lawsuit. What would Nintendo do if these guys actually won the case? How would this go down? Are there any precedents to this where a product had to be canceled completely from an A-list company because of a lawsuit that happened? I probably should look this up ahead of time, but then again, who the fuck am I? I, I, I never look things up ahead of time. No, all we need is a bunch of other third-party developers to get on board and maybe the Switch will have a library that consists of games other than Mario. I'm still not playing that rabbit shit, by the way. Hold on. Hold on.